What is going on you guys and welcome back to Audit Rewind. Hello fellow auditors, I hope you're all doing well. Basically I have a video for you today that I felt the need to review and react because it's unbelievable. You know what you guys, they say save the best till last, well I don't live by that. I actually want to bring you the first one as the best one. So yeah, let's uh, get those numbers up on the likes and subscribe if you fancy watching more of these highlights and you enjoy my show. Thank you so much to all the supporters. Uh, this first clip is coming from Eli and uh, he is a auditor who I will leave a link down below for in the description. I've been watching his audits for a couple of months now. Uh, he's a really good auditor and this has to be up there with one of his best and most shocking audits just because of what the cop does in this audit. So without further ado, let's get straight into this, do a bit of reaction and constructive criticism because uh, this video, oh my goodness me, it's pretty crazy. What's going on, sir? Not bad. We're going to make it happen, my pay her. Hey, yeah, yo. Yo, don't go, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't fucking touch me. Why you, up, why the f you touch me? Why you cursing? Cause you grabbed me. That's assault. That's up, get, me assault. That's up, get me a complaint for. Get me a complaint for. Back up real quick, man. What you mean back up? Get me a complaint for, bro. You're yelling. What's, why you yelling? You touch. You grab my hand, bro. I touch you. you got a camera. You saw what happened. So why you grab my hand? Why? I came outside. I saw this. I didn't know what was going on. And you I just grab my hand. You just I, go hands on. I didn't want you to get hurt. Just on. I didn't want you to get hurt. Just on. I didn't want you to get hurt. Just got me a complaint for. What's your name and badge number, bro? My name is Officer Garcia. It's right here. Two six two one seven. Got me a complaint for. Wait a second. Who's your sergeant? My sergeant, Sergeant Burroughs. Call him up. He's coming right now. All right. Stop touching people, man. You don't have the, the right to touch nobody, man. I'm opening the door. It doesn't matter. It doesn't give you the right to grab me. I'm afraid you're going to get hurt. I'm afraid you're going to get You're hurt. afraid? Yeah, because you're right behind the door. So you grab people? You don't yeah. grab people, man. Do that with your family. Man. Go home and do that. What to do, man? Exactly. Get me a complaint so for it. You grabbed your hand, so what? You grabbed your hand, so what? What you mean, so what? That's assault. That's battery. That's not assault. So get me your sergeant, bro. I'm going to make a complaint against you, bro. You can make all the complaints you want. So get me your sergeant. He's coming. I told you he's coming. All right. You don't put hands on people. No. Stop playing with me, man. Yo, you caught it on camera. Who? You got cameras. Exactly. So. Exactly. Your story? It's my your story. Right there. Exactly. And how right did, there, too. How did I grab your and right there. How did I grab your hand? What? How did I grab your hand? It's on camera. How did I grab your it's hand? It's on camera. Does your hand hurt? It's on camera. I know it's on camera. I'm asking. Exactly. You, you asking me if, if it hurts? If your hand hurts. You asking me did if I it hurts? you any certain type of way? Yes, you did. Why are you excited? I don't even know. I'm not excited. I watched this video and I genuinely think that the cop had cameras inside of the door or he had like a peephole because what are the chances of this happening that Eli was going up to this door and the second he's literally put his hand on it or taken a photo of what's on the door the cop comes literally walking through opens the door at the exact same time Eli's reached his hand out I mean literally if you watch the clip over and over you'll realize that this is like almost perfectly timed it's kind of hard to believe but this officer has tried to claim that perhaps he is just stopping the man from entering the building he's also tried to claim that perhaps he was uh, unaware what the man was doing and that he was in his personal space this is literally such bad luck for not only eli but the cop do you reckon this action was justified you guys what's your opinion leave your links down below your comments not your links what the hell am i on about sorry it's like 40 degree heat wave here you guys celsius and uh yeah let's get into our part two actually because this isn't done yes you did why are you excited i don't even know i'm not excited i'm tight as hell because you grabbed my hand bro why are you still here let me get you your get me your yo bro get your sergeant bro why are you talking to me like that because you're a pig you just grab my hand like you got you 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 above the. Time I check, me and you are the same people. Nah, well, no, we're not. You dirty. We speak the same language. Nah, 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 nah. We're not the same, bro. I'm with the people. You with the popo. Bro. With the people. Yeah. I'm I'm with the people right now. Nah, you ain't with the people, man. You're assaulting the people. people. You just grab my hands, bro. Yeah, grab your hand. Yeah, grab your hand. Yo, get me this up. complaint from, bro. I don't want to talk to you. You dirty, bro. I came to do that, and this guy over here grabbing my by my wrist, bro. Okay. 
You don't do that, man. You don't assault people. You don't just grab people. You don't, you don't have no right to put hands on me, sir. With all his respect, I want to make a complaint against him so he never in his life so, put hands on people, so bro. now I just have to tell you that I have to activate my body camera. No, you do. That's great. That's great. That's great. I'm going to request. Yes, I'm going to request every single footage, too. Okay. I'm going to FOIA request. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you please tell him not to grab people? That's all I need. That's it. Not a problem. Well, if the officer grabbed you, perhaps you shouldn't grab him. Okay. Hey, that's it, that's I it. I don't know all the details, so I, I just made a statement without knowing exactly all the details. Yeah, no, no. What's your name, by the way? No, no, I didn't give it. I didn't give it. I'm going to keep no? it private. Yeah, I'm going to keep it private. My name is Andy. It was a pleasure, Andy. Thank okay. you for your thank you for your professionalism uh, is and for there being calm. Else I can do for you? I'll take the complaint for him. Okay. Um, sure. what was his name? Garcia, right? Officer Garcia. Officer Garcia. Yes. Okay. Can you please tell him to at least apologize for putting but, hands on me? At least, bro. At were least. Were you trying to enter the station Who? house? No, sir. No, sir. No. No. So no. You to no. The no I was taking a picture of this sign, and oh, he came yeah. and grabbed my hand of the door. Oh, yes. I see. Oh, I okay. Agree. So can you please apologize? Oh, okay. nah, 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 that's not accurate. That that's not what. Like, so for grabbing me. He's not gonna apologize. Well, that's that's what the complaint report for him is. But he could at least apologize, bro. You could tell him not to grab people, bro. And that's okay. it. And then I don't well, have to take it here. Well, like I said to you before, if in fact he grabbed you, yes, he did. Way, yes, he did. Then, then that's it. I but you're above him, right? You're above him, so you should tell him not to do that. Even I, though he doesn't want to apologize I, to the people that he works for, I, I it's did cool. Though. I did though. You did. You I, did. You did. did yes, you did. You did. Is there anything else I can help you with? Nah, make sure that he do the right thing, bro. That's well, it. I, I'm, sorry I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow up. I'm gonna follow up. I'm sorry I didn't get your name, though. No, no, you won't get it. You won't get it. You're gonna see the video soon. Okay. Yeah, I have a lot of people here watching. A lot of people. So it's gonna be on YouTube. Work. It's gonna be on YouTube. Okay. Yes. Right, Once well, the video is out, your partners, they're gonna yeah. call you, they're gonna text you, and they're gonna okay. be like, oh, look who, whose page you on. Look whose okay. channel you on. This other officer that was present, I'm guessing, is a higher ranking supervisor. He was there to assess the situation. I mean, listen, you guys, cops saying they're going to investigate themselves is like saying a criminal's going to arrest himself and hand himself in. I mean, really, who does that? 0.001% of them? Yeah. I mean, internal investigations are about as good as, yeah, like a criminal trying to rely on criminals to arrest themselves and hand themselves in, which is like, 0.000001% probability. So in this particular video, I have to say that the, the the supervisor seems like he's going to side with this officer who's probably got a stronger case than the auditor because the officer will probably came, claim that this went to court, that he was defending himself, that he was reaching a handout because he thought the guy was going to try and walk into the building or worse, he might even try and say he thought the guy was trying to attack him reaching his handout. We, we all know that's not true and we know what Eli's all about. I've been watching his audits now for a couple months like I said, and he would never attack anyone uh, unless he was required to defend himself. So yeah, that's just pretty crazy, and uh, go subscribe to him, I'll leave a link down below to this video in the description, and let's get into our next audit moment. A lot of people say to me, hey audit rewind, the cops don't actually watch these videos. Well, I always say the absolute opposite, and here is a perfect bit of evidence to support my claim. Here we have an audit uploaded by Jay Surreal Cam, and Jay has got multiple audit channels, and I've been watching him also for a few months now, and in this video, he actually gets into a bit of an argument with one of the officers, because the officer's like, hey, why are you filming, you can't be doing this, blah blah blah, and then the officer actually realizes that he knows this auditor. He's watched and subscribed to his YouTube channel. <laughs> and at the end, he's actually super friendly with him. He like makes up with him. He, he gives off good vibes. And he literally goes from being like a robotic uh, order barking, you know, tyrant to a guy that is literally really chill, relaxed and kind of happy to be on camera. It's, it, I mean, it's bizarre at the same time, but it's really funny, this one. So definitely go and watch this because it ends. It's like a, a, you get a polar opposite. So the first half of this video is they're angry. They don't want him to film. They're closed up. And then the second half, they realize who he is. And they're like really happy and nice to him. It's so weird. Like you guys will love this. I know you will. So why are you, why are you coming over here? That's where you're recording him. What's your name and badge number? Officer Gomez Lima, badge number 10338. I'm just recording, just keep doing what you're doing. Alright, no problem. How you doing? Do me a favor, stand back a little bit. I don't do favors. Yeah. What's your name and badge number? 
Why I should tell you? Because you're a cop. My name is here. What's your attitude? Uh, don't give me attitude. I just come to record the interaction. I from there. I'm from where? Quietly. No, I don't be quiet or nothing. What's wrong with you guys? What's wrong with you? All right, and officer safety or citizen safety? Yeah, officer safety. Come on. Bro, I'm chilling, dude. I'm chilling. I'm hanging out. I'm relaxing. I'm relaxing from a distance. All right? Shorty? Shorty, relax with the attitude. Chilling, hanging out. Recording you guys on duty. Making sure you don't, you know, you don't, you don't do, you don't mess up. Uh, you're supposed to record me. You're supposed to have your body cam on every time you interact with the public. That's a must. Relax. When you guys start acting up, this is why I record you guys. Relax. If you don't say nothing, I don't say nothing. That's it. Huh? Am I stop now? <laughs> Papi, yo estoy aquí por el safety de ustedes para que yo haga su trabajo bien. No estoy para aquí para ustedes, bro. Tranquilito, estoy, yo grabo la policía. Hey, for a future reference, bro, you shouldn't, like, if there's no crime scene, you shouldn't come up to camera people and tell them to get bus directives. Listen, right now, there's cops I'm just saying. everywhere, there's fire. Well, bro, I'm, I'm, all, yeah, yeah. Away, bro. Bro, I'm just right here, bro. bro I, need to, I need to record the scene. I, 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 I want to hear it. You I know, but I need to hear If you tell me to move up, I can't. I, can't I did, so though. I, I did, though. Yeah, you're fine, bro. Oh, okay, cool. I see. How long you been a cop? Long enough. Long enough? Two years? Long enough. Six months. You know. I let my viewers decide that. that? I let I let my viewers decide that. All right. Wait, Come on. Where, where's your channel at? Surreal Cam. Where's it? Where's your channel? YouTube. YouTube. Surreal, like real? Surreal. Surreal. Oh, okay. S U R R E A L Cam. You'll be on there in a couple of days. And, and you have a channel too on uh, Instagram too. TikTok. TikTok. Facebook too. All right, man. I see a few times. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you see me where? Yeah, you know, I just got arrested two days ago. Bro. For recording in public and they dropped it already? Out of trouble, bro. All right, bro. You got That just makes you guys look more bad, bro. When you guys bust attitudes. Shorty, you hate your job? Shorty, you hate your job? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Shorty, my name is uh, Surreal Cam. What's your name? You can read here. I know my viewers, can, my viewers can read. Officer Hasenberg. What's your, what's your badge number? 10098. Buckle up. Hide that bottle. What is that bottle? Hey, you got, what do you got? Oh, hold on. You got bazookas in there? You got, oh, oh confidential? Like whiskey? Let me get a, let me get a shot. Want to do it together? At your home. <laughs> hey, hey, seatbelt. Officer safety. <laughs> All right, guys, we're out of here. So I think Jay dealt with this really well. Jay knows how to have a laugh. He also knows how to be respectful and kind to law enforcement. There are people out there, there are auditors who won't show any compassion, any kindness to any law enforcement officer, even if it is one of the very few good cops. In this instance, they will just yell at them, call them bad names, and give them pretty biased criticism. I try and give constructive criticism, but never unbiased, you know? Sometimes I do side with the officers, but that is very rare, very, very rare. Um, because there's plenty more rotten apples than organic fresh ones. But the reality is that Jay relaxed after this. They relaxed, he relaxed, and there was some form of friendship, or at least, how do you say it, like camaraderie, like, you know, neutral ground where they're not yelling at him anymore, being horrible. They realize, hey, look, it's an auditor. It's Jay Surreal Cam. He isn't going to just roll over and say, oh, okay, I need to start filming, otherwise I'll be arrested. He knows his rights, and he's been through things like this many, many times. Anyway, I'll leave a link to his channel down below. Go subscribe to him, and I'll get into the next one now. So I wanted to criticize this video here and do some reactions. Some of you may have seen this before. It's gone kind of viral. It's from a verified auditor. I don't usually react to bigger audit channel videos. I tend to only react to the smaller ones, but I just had to react to this one. This is from the channel James Madison Audits. 
Now in this video, I believe this is James recording, unless he's like hosted someone on his channel, he came across uh, some officers attending a scene where a lady had an emergency. Now they claim it is a medical one. I don't know whether she's cut herself, hurt herself, has an infection, has uh, a sickness, etc. But basically they are tending to her and um, they realize he's doing a First Amendment audit and they get really, really, really annoyed and like fidgety with him. So they decide to turn their flashlights on and it seems like to me that they beam the flashlights in the direction of his face and camera. Yeah, I mean, you guys can take a look at this video for yourselves. We'll go through this and break it down, criticize what's going on here. But as you can see here, the cop turns his flashlight on and I, I want to go into some very important points, but I won't do that. I'll do that towards the end about what's going on here and the whole situation and the morals of it. So let's hop in. They're looking at her prescriptions through these guys over here. Can you go? She's having a medical issue. No. No? No. Okay, stand over there. I'm standing here with my car. You're an idiot. You're a f idiot. Appreciate you exploiting yeah. your time of crisis. Ain't no one exploiting anybody. Can't see anybody. Shut up and put, turn your flash. Is this one? It wasn't on? Yeah. Let me get your, let me get your watch commander here. Is it Geyser? It's on. Is Geyser here? What's, what's the watch commander's name? Sergeant Brian Forrest. There you go. Call him for him. I need to do an officer complaint right here. No, call him. You got time to do that flashlight over here, don't you? Hey, you call me your sergeant out here or watch commander, officer? We're in the middle of an investigation right now. We're, we got something to pertain to right now. We need to know. Nah, I'll just get him on Central then. Okay. Ain't no one recording anybody in crisis. That's why I'm over here on the corner. So I just make sure you guys don't beat her or choke her. Or stick the dog on her, that's all. Okay. Hey, 9673, can I have a Daytona Beach watch commander or the sergeant respond to 1510 South Ridgewood? Um, out here, I got an officer complaint. They're actually violating some rights right here and I need to get this handled. They got flashlights shining in my face. Oh. Thanks. You can turn your flashlight off, stupid. What's your name, officer? Officer Brooks. Brokes? What's yours? The other guy with the flashlight. Pagano. What is it? Pagano. Oh, Pagano. Hey, hey, hey. Case. Look at that smile. I'm going to need a case number before I leave here tonight, all right? I'm providing you any documentation. Your supervisor is on the way to speak to you. You're not going to? No, she's like eating you to my supervisor. Oh, you yourself. Don't ever shine flashlights on my face again. Goodbye. Have Don't ever do it again. Don't ever do it again. You got it? Yeah. Just need a complaint form. Sure, you got to print them out. Save if it's on. Is it online on the website? I mean, I, I mean, I can get them. I can go down there, PD, and get one. But the only reason why I have to print one is I just. So at this point in the video, he is now basically part two we're about to hop into. He's requested a supervisor, either a sergeant, chief or lieutenant, because he wants to get a officer complaint form regarding the situation that they are currently dealing with because of the behavior of them flashing their flashlights at him. Uh, I think they're shining it at the lens to give the lady privacy. I'm currently unaware what's wrong with this lady, what emergency she's going through. Um, you know what a lot of people might say to James why is he doing this uh, it's embarrassing for the lady whatever she's having to go through the problem is pe other people's rights can be embarrassing towards us for example if I hurt myself in public and someone's exercising their first amendment right then they can still do that just because I hurt myself or have an accident or an emergency or a humiliating thing or an embarrassing accident doesn't mean that they have to turn the camera off you know, sometimes people's First Amendment rights can be seen as annoying if you're the one on the receiving end of that being filmed, you know? Um, the problem is here, it's more of a moral issue that I'll go into at the end of this because there's a part two. So I want to hop into part two where he goes through the complaints process with a higher ranking officer as I think that's valid to use in this kind of breakdown. So let's take a look at that. I 
I was okay, I'll look online then. I don't want to waste. All right. Go ahead. I mean, I, I'm just, I, you know, I do my stuff. I film. I do that. Listen, I get permission from the owners here. Mm -hmm. I can come here. As soon as I get here, I'll go check them. Hey, you mind if I film the cops out here? Yeah, go ahead, man. What do you do it for? Here's my car, James Massey. It's, it's my earnest to block out things like juveniles sure. and things like that. Well, you guys over here, times two, were shining their spotlight. They're, they're stingers in my eyes. And I advised them. I, and I it, just told them, I said, whatever you do, I said, don't antagonize. Said, this, it's twitching now. I mean, it, it was for a good, what, two and a half minutes, maybe, something like that. And I, if, I want, if I get the body camera from that incident, it seems like the woman's either Baker acted or she's got criminal charges, mm -hmm. right? So if she's got one of those two, they can't redact anything out when I do that. There's, I can get more footage from them than I can from what I'm seeing. I position yeah. myself in a nice corner over here where I don't see her face. All I see is the three officers standing around her. And and that's what uh, that's all it was. I just yeah. tell I, the story. This is the March Man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it was the circumstances, I, I don't even know how that, and that's fine. You There's do, no hip, you do, yeah. You do you. If, if, they were, if, if they were on body camera writing up the March Man Act form, that would be one thing. They would redact out the form, but yeah, you're, everything you're, else. You, you're, I'm here, you're here on on, I would have, on what you need. I would have been gone, Sarge, if I would have got an event number or P number. That's it. That's all I do. I, and I can give you that yeah, if you want. Yeah. Um, do you want the form? I'm no, I'll, I'll get it online. I, if, but now that you say it, i got to print some up. Just in case. Hopefully you don't have too many. Ballot, so. And like I said, I was going to make this as quick as I can. A P number is fine. I got the case number. I'll give it to you. The, the officer should know to be able to call that out or hand it out if someone asks for it. You don't have to be involved in a call. Uh, you don't have to have anything like that. I can never tell a good story, it seems like, when I get down here in Daytona. I try to sometimes. I mean, yeah, I know, I know. And right. he, so uh, that's the case number right there, the DB. Yeah, appreciate it. And okay. the, the other thing is, um, he's got the other, I don't know if it's him, it's one of the other guys. They're running around with headlights out on their cars and stuff like that. It's funny that you say that because the text messages about... They said, hey, we need a new headlight. So we're, we're on, we're I, don't on. Mean, I don't mean to be a chicken you know, complainer, but if you're going to shine spotlights in my face, I don't f*** with anybody unless they start f with me. That's it. Simple I, as that. I don't... I, 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 I don't want to... The worst thing you can do is antagonize. You know what I want to do when it starts? The worst thing you can do is antagonize. He knows what the Yeah. You know what I like doing at 12 o'clock? Doing a nice, calm story. Say, hey, they comes out, you're helping someone. And I start winding down going home. But now what I want to do is I want to go back to Daytona and see what other idiots are out here. Because if there's two, there's got to be ten. So yeah. no, Actually, we had we a pretty good crew. Uh, yeah. Are you working a lot of them going? So yeah, it's good stuff. I mean, I'm 43. I know that uh, every time I see these guys, they're in their 20s. Younger and younger. Yeah. And it's, so we get older and older. And it's like, wait a second. You... So, well, um, I will, I'll let you get out of here. I'll, I'll, talk def I'll definitely check the policy, uh, make sure they didn't violate I'll check the videos, make sure they didn't do anything. Obviously, I'll talk to them about shining flashlights in your eyes. Yeah, that's, it's, that's, it's, that's unacceptable. Courts, courts have um, deemed it a First Amendment violation. That's unacceptable, um, and I will, I will yeah. tell them, hey, don't. You know, Just the direction is one thing in their face, no. So what I wanted to say at halfway mark of this video is the moral side of this. Firstly, I'd say that James Morley is... I would, that's really all I'd say by criticizing this video. I don't really have any other criticism. The only one I do have is like the privacy and respect for the lady. Like there's like a degree of auditing, like how far are you willing to go? People are willing to do the whole open um, uh, carry while they're auditing. Some people try to instigate reactions. Some people will even audit massive accidents involving vehicles where there is severe things where officers and ambulance workers are genuinely very overstretched, worked and stressed. Uh, I think this type of auditing, although it is completely lawful under the First Amendment, freedom of press, plain view doctrine, I believe it's not moral. Uh, that's just my criticism. Other than that, I do actually really support James's audits. But in this situation, he is allowed to do what he's doing if he stood in public, if he's exercising his First Amendment right, uh, his freedom of press. And was the cop's reaction to shine lights, were, like, was it reasonable? Number one, it's not really working. He can still film. It's not blocking the camera. And number two, it could be classed as assault, as I think they have powerful enough uh, flashlights that can cause severe damage to people's eyes. So just a thought, just a bit of criticism. I've given, you know, 
unbiased review of this clip on both sides so uh i want to hear your opinions comment down below and go support james's uh, james madison audit i'll leave a link to his channel in the description not that he needs any more subs though he's massive <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? This is Rebel Riot Radio. Up next, we have a video by Rebel Riot Radio. I think I may have reacted to one of her audits before. Now, Rebel Riot is doing a First Amendment audit of a driving license center. Now, we don't really have these in the UK, but when I went to visit the US last to visit my grandparents, uh, we actually went to one of these for them. I think you have to update your license every like three years in the UK. It's every six, I believe. And um, also bank cards and things, but that's nothing to do with driving licenses. So this lady goes in to do a uh, audit, First Amendment, uh, Freedom of Press, Plain View, and she gets met with, oh my goodness me, tons and tons of resistance. So to begin with, I think they actually try to shut down the driving license center while she's filming because Rebel Riot refuses to leave because she's exercising her rights but I don't think they trespass her officially. So while she's filming in the lobby, a bunch of the people working and sat in the queue start basically having a go at her. So you won't really understand what I'm saying till you've seen this, so let's get straight into this and see what happens. Get out! I got a job to get to, let's go, man! Get out! I can't believe you can be that ignorant. Get out. I'm not the one who is ignorant. They are. You see this lying out the door, man? Get out. What is this for? May we ask what this is for? I know that she shouldn't close. It's illegal. The woman is doing her job. This is illegal. Everybody call the police. She's not doing her job. She's not telling us who she is. You're not allowed to report us. I'll tell you right now. You're not allowed. Do you want me to show you the law? Anybody's permission here to report anybody. It's a law, man. No. There's cameras all over right, the building. But they, okay, they have cameras for a reason, all right? So do I. Anyone here could have a gun or something. People are upset, okay? You have to understand that. There's a child here. There are a lot of people here. I don't need to. I don't Do you care why law? you're here. You don't want to see people are asking you to leave. Do you care about the Constitution? Well, of the United I care States? about the Constitution, sir. Don't but I also up on care. Me. That don't people come here, are upset. Sir. Do you and all you, want to do, all you want to do is take our pictures. Do you care about people? I didn't take your picture till you walked up to my camera. Now, anyone who talks, you take their picture. That's right, so don't talk to me. So, your job is online, miss. You see, guys, it tends to be the older people that don't like being filmed in public. I think a lot of the younger generation know that that i think like it's like subconscious not that they even know about the first amendment when they should do especially if they live in the states but it's like they just know if you're in public people are going to be doing stupid snapchat stories stupid vlogs stupid tiktoks that's the generation that you know dumb dumb grow up doing those silly little clips oh so i ate for lunch today i mean burger king kfc all that nonsense so they kind of know whereas the older people they still think, oh, you can't film in public. You have to ask for my consent. You have to get a, a, a form and I fill it out and email it, post it to your address and then I tick the box. It's like they don't understand because they come from an era where there were no recording devices. You know, some of these people who are 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 were in eras where for many, many decades they didn't have any phones that could record anything or even cameras. So... Yeah, anyway, let's watch part two. The cops are apparently on the way. Can we just like you for a second? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Is that possible? Yeah. You're... Um, obviously, you know, they're recording. Right. So they don't want you to record inside. Right. And uh, that's the only reason we're here. That's it. Right. I'm sure you guys know it's a constitutionally protected activity. I'm covered by yeah, the First Amendment if I don't raise. You can film out here. Yeah, no, actually, I am allowed to film inside. I have the laws with me, so. Right. 
Yeah, um, do you have your ID or you have any sort of identification? Like they're, they're trying to break, violate my First Amendment right, and I'm not going to let you violate my fourth, sir. Well, they, they, they're, they determined you're trespassing right now, so basically we need record that we made. They can't trespass me from a public building okay. that my taxes help pay for. Do you have your ID or do you have your name, date of birth? Don't Why would you, too. again, they're trying to violate be, my First Amendment on, right, and you're right? trying to okay. violate my fourth, just, sir. Just let, just let me hear, hear me out, please. Well, ID yeah. isn't, a, you can demand it all you want, but I have, name, I have a Fourth birth? Amendment right, don't I? Can I have your name, date of birth, please? Sir, if you try to violate my rights under color of law, but the deprivation of rights under color of law, then <laughs> what other laws are you breaking, right? <laughs> And you're going to violate my rights on camera. That's fine. That's all I need, I guess. Are you going to leave? I'll leave, but... I mean, you're still violating my rights and breaking the law, sir. Are you law enforcement? And why do you keep asking me if I drive here? Why do you want my car? Okay, so... I took an I'm Uber here. You, you keep talking. Okay, so right now your conduct's being disorderly. So that's actually your arrest. Disorderly? Hey, you guys, Pennsylvania State Police... How, where do I go to like file complaints against you guys? Like where? I agree there right now. Oh yeah, could you please call supervisor? Please leave. I'd appreciate that. Could you please call supervisor? Please leave, yes or no. Can you call a supervisor at least, please? Will you give the phone to him? Will I what? Will you give the phone to him, please? Why? Because. I will leave under threat of arrest, sir. Well, now you're under arrest, George Sorley, conduct, please. Sir, I've had enough of this. This audit did not end well at all, the cops ended up arresting this lady, a bunch of uninformed, uneducated members of the public were also just basically ganging up on her I feel. Um, listen, it's like peer pressure, it's like that, it's just petty, petty things. Do you know what this reminds me of you guys? It reminds me of those days when the people used to say in school that it was a teacher's, if, if no one owns up to this then you're all staying behind at class, at the end of class. Well, that's basically what literally happened in this video. I think they stopped functioning the driving license center, they stopped processing things, and they basically said, unless she leaves, we're gonna make you all sit here and wait. Yeah, that was just such a stupid thing for them to do in there. I don't know why they felt the need to halt services. Insane. Anyway, I'll leave a link down below to Riot, Rebel Riot Radio. Link down below to her channel. Go support her work. And uh, yeah, that's the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you're all doing well. This is Audit Rewind, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's upload. Stay safe, stay well. Peace out.